until the day you die, you are going to be creating something or you're going to be consuming something. And the way the world is nowadays, there's a heavy, heavy consumer market. Everything is pushed to be advertisable or pushed to be made into clips because, you know, if it can go viral, it can make money. You know, when I, I think about people who who create things, when I was thinking about this video, because this has been on my mind for a few weeks, when I was thinking about what is a creator, my mind immediately started jumping to content creation and, you know, getting numbers and getting views. And as a guy who's growing his YouTube following, um, or just even social media presence in general. Those kind of analytics do matter. I wish I was one of the guys who could say it it doesn't matter. But it does. Because those analytics help me sell my business as well to other people. But when I, I, I was thinking creation, I, I kept thinking it's like, okay, social media personalities, um people who I, I've seen grow over the years from, you know, a few thousand followers and now they're millions of followers and they have their own brands and all that sort of stuff. It, it's been kind of cool to see. But then I started thinking and realized that is such a small, small market. Like, full-time social media jobs, to the best of my knowledge, the best of my research, didn't really kick off until about 2011 to 2013 is really when they started being a thing. More so on, like, YouTube. That's 10 years ago. 15 years ago. That there was this kind of new job opportunity back when the internet was the wild west I uh I didn't grow up watching a lot of those guys I see some of their stuff now but I didn't grow up watching a lot of them but I started thinking about how creators back in the day they were architects they were the musicians that would be playing at church or playing at the local bar. They were painters like Van Gogh. They were poets like Shelley. They were philosophers like Plato. They were the people who noted down historical moments, what they saw. And to them, they may have just been like diary entries, but to us, we look back and say, oh my goodness, that's a vital piece of history. There's so many little pieces of... There's so many little pieces of history we don't know now because they weren't recorded or the recordings were lost to time. There's so many things and thoughts of the time that we probably won't ever know that seemed so commonplace back then. It's slight ramble, I apologize. I think about today, this, this society, we generally do what I'm doing right now. I have my phone in my hands. And from what I could gather from my research, I, I was looking on Statistica.com and some other places. 
the average from what I can tell that a U.S. adult spends on their phone, the average is somewhere between three and a half to six hours plus. So three and a half to six hours plus whatever they have to use at work or whatever else. And that's a lot of time. This isn't a, a shame people for using tech, because that's pretty hypocritical. But it got me thinking about... I'm online, and I see people talk about all sorts of things. They talk about how beautiful architecture used to be back in the day. How beautiful homes used to be back in the day. How... Almost like uniqueness was celebrated, finding new ways to do things. Um, and a lot of the, the drive, I think, to do things has kind of been lost because there's honestly more of a, a mental reward for being a consumer than there is being a creator. Um, it's way easier to stare at a phone and swipe up and look at new content that triggers the dopamine receptors in the brain every few swipes. I, I, I'm not the one who says this or started this thing, but it's likened to a casino when you hit the jackpot. It's way easier to listen to somebody else have thoughts and opinions than it is to develop our own sometimes, because the effort it requires to think and research a situation and then formulate an opinion, or even see if an opinion's worth forming, it takes energy. Doing any form of creation, whether it's good or bad, it takes energy, it takes work, and generally it, it does tend to affect others. During the seven minutes this has gone on, you know, I'm hoping most of you guys are still breathing, and, you know, the cool thing about that is we're taking in oxygen, we're taking in the, the gas mixture around us and our bodies convert it into co2 and we breathe it out and that's something that the plants need around us it's a symbiotic relationship they produce oxygen we produce carbon dioxide it's it's a trade very much like when you would have people that would design homes they would design structures that would help other people it would help the people who would be building those structures have a plan of what to do it would help the people who needed a place to live in safety have a place to call home or maybe even just the architect when you would have the musicians that would play at church or play at the bars that audience being there, they get such enjoyment out of it when the band is good. When the artist is good. There's such an enjoyment there. And that helps the artist too because it helps them fall in love that much more with what it is they do. It's, it's giving. I had, I had a bunch of numbers, I had this whole script I was going to be going through and trying to make a really cool, like, edited video, and I may do that one day. It's not really my style. It's really not. I prefer, I prefer talking with you guys like this. I don't, I don't feel like every five seconds has to be a cut to the next point. I kind of like just talking to you guys.
right now I'm just in my car thinking <laughs> thinking about how it's easier it's so much easier to have things spoon fed to you and to me than it is to do something that's not how it really was for the longest time we're living in a really really interesting time we're living in a very unexplored time I guess you could say everybody is so connected and it feels like nobody really knows anybody You have friends on your social media platforms, you're following the influencers, if that's your thing. You're following your favorite artists, your favorite political leader, you're doing this, you're doing that. And you can reach out and message them, you can contact them. You can find people from way back in your life and reach out. Like, there's so much connectivity, but people feel so scared they still feel so empty now I, I follow Jesus' teachings I try to I really try to so I believe that part of what it is is people still have it's called the hole in the heart <laughs> People still have that emptiness that they feel that needs to be filled. And most times people don't know how to do it. So I believe Jesus is the way. Because we're made in the image of God according to the Bible. And God's the creator. And he made us in his image. So we also are made we're designed to make things that's why what we say what we think how we act it's so important it's so powerful but I think as people for better or worse I think as people start to unplug from the connectivity of the internet world I think it will do people good I think it will help people realize that the world around them will will feel more real I can't be the only one who you know I'll be working on something I'll be in front of my computer most of the day working on something or I'll be watching a movie or playing games and I step outside and the world almost doesn't feel real. I can't be the only one. But yet as I'm out here in my car, I'm just looking around. And it feels more real than anything that's ever on the screen. Just know, all everything I've just said up until this point, just know that what you say and what you do, it matters. You matter. You may not feel like you have talents in places that you want to. Not everybody's a singer, not everybody is a dancer. Not everybody is a great motivational speaker. Notice those are all in front of people things I mentioned. Not everybody is a great researcher. It can be learned, just like singing can be learned. 
Not everybody is a great carpenter. Not everybody is a great mathematician. Not everybody is a great visionary. And that's okay. But with whatever it is you do, just know what you do matters. Try to help people. Try to do good. If you don't subscribe to faith-based living like I do, Try to do good. Try to do good for others. Because even though we're so fiercely independent wannabe here in the West, and just across the world, there's such a drive to be completely independent of anybody. Not need anybody. People need each other. People need you. So, if you made it through all that, thank you. You're a real one. When I get the shirts and stuff printed over here again, come see me, I'll get you a t-shirt. <laughs> if I can. For everybody that's part of this community, thank you. There's There's been a lot that's happened over the past eight years. I started this channel in 2016. And we're still going along. I'm not trying to turn this into a full-time career just yet. I'm just having fun. And I'm really thankful you guys are along for the journey. I really appreciate you guys, more than you know. You guys matter. You're not junk. Jesus loves you. And I'll see you soon.